Greetings everyone, you're Locus Shenan Gamer coming to you from Universe Sandbox 2 and my friends There's been an update. There's been a physics update, performance, a couple of other little things as well. It's kinda of setting the roadmap of what's to come. And uh, because there's been a physics update, let's actually let me show you one quick thing here, which is kinda of cool. Um They added the hundred year anniversary of the eclipse that validated general relativity. So basically, general relativity, it's it, it's it's about the kind of gravitational effect um, that, well, for example, looking at the sun, the stars around the sun, the light that we can see is being warped around rather than, you know, what was discovered by Newton. For example, so what's actually, yeah, do you know what? Let's let's have a read of it here. <laughs> that might be easier. So on May 29th, 1919, a total solar eclipse was visible in parts of South America, Africa, and the Atlantic Ocean. Astronomers used this event as an opportunity to test Einstein's theory of general relativity, which predicted that light from distant stars would be bent by the gravity of the sun, making them appear in a slightly different location than Newton's model would predict. Two expeditions of astronomers, one to Sobra, Brazil, and one to the island of Principe, uh, off the coast of Africa, used telescopes and photographic plates to measure the position of stars near the sun, which were visible during the eclipse. The results confirmed Einstein's predictions, making headlines around the world, bringing international fame to Einstein and his work. This simulation shows the 1919 eclipse that was used to test Einstein's theory General relativity is not included in the physics simulation behind Universe Sandbox, but even if it was, the difference in observed star position between Newton's model and Einstein's model is extremely small, about one to two thousandths the width of a full moon. So, that words it better than what I was having uh, a brain fart and trying to say it to you anyway. So, this is just the kind of simulation of that and it's always nice to see um, an eclipse for sure so let's check it out so across South America there we go the Atlantic it's so cool I love when solar eclipse happens I love when lunar eclipse happens actually as well but it's nice to see it from this perspective as well it's so cool there was a great video out there, I think it was from uh, a Japanese satellite that captured this as well in real time, which is awesome. So, uh, that's just marking the 100th anniversary of the validation of uh, Einstein's theory of general relativity. But today, mon ami, um, do you know, I don't think I've ever done it. Let's start simulation paused. Black hole in the sun. Now, in the simulation, as it's described here, I had a brief little look of it, but I haven't let it play out. But I thought it would be kind of nice to test the physics engine. Um, not that it's going to put it under a huge amount of strain, but the accuracy, uh, efficiency, and just general physics simulation should be improved in this version of Universe Sandbox 2. So in this simulation, the sun orbits the black hole that is 10,000 times more massive than itself. The sun's orbit is very eccentric that makes uh, that takes it within the black hole's Roche limit. So the Roche limit, if you haven't seen some of my earlier videos or if you're not familiar with that term, basically it's the distance within which the gravitational field of a large body, in this instance, the sun, um, or not, sorry, not the sun, it would be the black hole in this instance, um, is strong enough to prevent a smaller body, aka the sun, uh, from being held together by gravity. So, gravity, um, in our solar system, the mass of the sun is what's holding it together. You know, that's why most large bodies are, um, are spherical, or somewhat, pretty much spherical. So again, the, the outward force uh, versus the inward force um, of gravity is to keep them together. Now, if you put a larger body in the mix uh, at a particular distance, their gravitational pull will override 
the smaller body and it'll start to tear it apart. So the sun's orbit, as I say, is very eccentric, uh, brings it within the Roche limit. At this point, the tidal forces of the sun become strong enough to rip it apart, which is what we're going to hope to see here. Some of the material that is used that used to be in the sun continues to orbit the black hole while the rest is thrown out into space. This entire system, the black hole and the sun's eccentric orbit would fit inside the orbit of Mercury uh, in our own solar system. So not vast distances to say the least. There's the black hole. Let me just zoom in here. There's our demon warping around, lensing through gravity. It's crazy. It, it, it's, it's, it's a crazy force, isn't it? <laughs> Um, you know what? I'm gonna get the, the, the trail out there. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna put the trail on in this because it'll be interesting to see it just kind of uh, soaking through. Maybe if we put uh, background. Milky Way. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. <laughs> um, okay, so. Let's give it a blast, shall we? So I'm gonna, I just wanna roll this down a little bit. Um, what kind of speeds are we talking about here? 49, 27 kilometers a second. That is nuts. And, there's a nice little screenshot maybe. Maybe that's the thumbnail, I don't know. We'll see how we go. So, minuscule in proportions so radius 29541 but 10,000 times the mass of the Sun so we're just gonna pull back here a little bit and we're gonna speed things up and we should start seeing some effects especially because it's uh, there we go Because it's in an eccentric orbit. Whoa. <laughs> that didn't take long. That did not take long at all. So as the description says, some of the material that used to be in the sun is going to be pulled in towards the black hole. Some of it will continue to orbit and some of it will be ejected out. Look at that. 16,000 times. Our little sun here. Our sun has seen better days. Normally we put the sun through trials and tribulations such as supernova throwing stuff into it. I don't think we've ever put this, a sun into a Roche limit off a black hole. I don't know what happened in my background. But it's just disappeared. But listen, it is what it is. Oh, there we go. Gone into the darkness of space here. Well, so far, it's silky smooth. And I do like what it's doing with the particulates here. All the fragments being ejected from the sun. <laughs> Hang on a second. I need to click on the one constant here just to keep the simulation not jittering about here or anything. So the effect so far, like we're only going 17 minutes. 14,000, that is nuts. I love how it flails when it gets to about here that it's coming in, it starts to be pulled apart and then just pew, spits it out there actually quite nice and you can see that little you can see that the the black hole is just in this void area here whoa it whips it around so look at the speed of the Sun here gets up to what 27,000 kilometers a second Let's slow that down for a second here. We we'll monitor the speed. 
Okay, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. So this is, this will be the Apple apps here. Closest point of orbit. There's our black hole being illuminated. 39, 39,000 kilometers a second at Apple apps. And then you see our black holes disappearing here. And we're going to see the flailing. It's almost like a bokeh effect here, isn't it? <laughs> we're seeing stuff in focus, out of focus. It was actually quite nice. The poor old sun. And then a huge amount just gets ejected from it there, as you can see. Pretty cool. I do like it. And there's some other new features as well with the update too. Here we see the sun again. Oh, that is so good. But one of the things I liked about it too, number one, the efficiency, performance of the simulation engine, but also an increase in accuracy as well, because again, you can increase the speed uh, but you can re you reduce the accuracy or vice versa Now I record this on the same computer. I don't have a dual system. So The computer is recording as well as diverting CPU processes to calculate the simulation effects as well Man the Sun is hanging in there All that stuff look at that that is cool just flailing it out so you can kind of see the fragments some some of them get so far these guys are kind of coming back in here as well it's these ones this one is slowly moving out yeah it's kind of getting to this limit here where it's just not having it anymore I just love how, I'm going to slow it down here in a second, I just love how the black hole becomes illuminated when the sun gets around here. I can't believe 39,000 kilometers a second. So again, this, this eccentric orbit, as it said in the simulation notes, could fit between Mercury and the sun's orbit in our solar system. So very small footprint. There's the black hole. I love that. Now that's cool. <laughs> it's almost like there was a reflection, wasn't there? Did you see the little kind of pixel? I have to see that again. I want to I get that close up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're slowing down here. We're clocking in serious, serious speeds here. Now I want to see. No, I thought like from here it was like I just saw this little pixel coming across. But uh, anyway, so. Eventually, the sun is just going to get to a point where it's not going to be able to sustain being ripped apart. It'll get to a kind of critical mass where it'll stop becoming a star, most likely, or stop being pulled asunder. So as you can see, you can speed it up. Pretty decently. Now, our little sun. Our sun is no more. <laughs> we have... We have killed it. We have killed it. Ten days. Ten days that took. Ten days to kill a star. 
Well, on that bombshell, I want to say thanks for stopping by, checking out this video. Do check out the update for Universe Sandbox 2. It's just landed in the last couple of days. Uh, big shout out to the Patreon supporting the channel. Um, you help me keep making content and learning new skills and making the channel as good as it can be. And uh, listen, thanks to everyone else stopping by, just supporting the channel that way as well. Every view, comment, share, and um, like is much, much appreciated as well. Um, stay tuned for more videos. I've been your local Gamer, and I will see you in the next video. So take it easy, my friends, and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.